Hello and welcome back to Programming for the Absolute Beginner, Part 5, Defining Variables. Um, today we're going to be creating a program that's going to allow us to accept some input from the user's keyboard uh, and store it into a space in memory on disk that we've created for it. Uh, we're actually going to be using some space that's available in our computer and we'll be setting it aside uh, for our variables. So first thing we're going to do is go to Xcode and we are going to create a new C file if you uh, remember from the last tutorial go to file, new file uh, under Mac OS X category C and C++ and click C file we're good to go and we're going to call the program variable dot C and don't forget to also uncheck the create variable dot H header file option and don't forget to locate this program onto your desktop directory and you can do that by specifying desktop following by a forward slash and then we are going to click finish okay so now that our program is created there's one thing we need to do still and that is open up our terminal and now that we've got the terminal open we're ready to go um, just a quick refresher for you um, back to the basics in algebra um, a variable is a letter uh, or a symbol that is basically used to represent a number. Um, so if you haven't had any experience with algebra lately, you might want to brush up on that um, before we get into programming some code with a lot of variables uh, that are taking care of a lot of things for us. So let's get started with today's lesson and we're going to start that by explaining two concepts and that is the concept of the global variable and the concept of the local variable now a local variable basically means that it's local to the function that it belongs to meaning that wherever you declare or define it and if it's inside a function it's local to that function and it can only be used in that function um, a global variable is actually defined outside of any function and can be used by all functions and anywhere in the program. So there's a few pros to cons in each, but we'll get to those in a later tutorial. Let's just continue on for now. I just wanted to get that out there. So start off by creating um, a basic program outline or a skeleton, and we can do that by including our header files first. and we always want to include our main function and don't forget the opening and closing curly brace brackets set aside some space and now what we're gonna do is start off with local variables and we're gonna create our own so the basic syntax for creating uh, or declaring or defining a variable is basically uh, the data type following by the variable name and of course the semicolon because we have to terminate all our C statements so let's actually declare a variable we're gonna call this variable num1 and it is gonna be of type integer so we're gonna do that by declaring a int data type and declaring the variable name to be 1 and we're gonna terminate it with a semicolon so there we go, we've declared um, a variable. Now we're going to actually store something into this variable. Because it's of type integer, the only actual input that I can put store into this variable has to be of type integer, otherwise it won't accept the variable that I'm trying, or the, the integer, uh, the character that I'm trying to store in the variable. So, for instance, num1 is equal to 5. This works because what I'm doing is I'm assigning an integer with the value of 5 to a variable that is of type int. So it knows that it's accepting an integer. So this is a perfect assignment. And what I mean by assignment is that this equal sign in a code basically means, uh, equates to the assignment operator. And what that means is that it basically assigns whatever is on the right of the assignment operator to whatever is on the left of the assignment operator and in this case it's our integer 
and it's being stored into our integer variable that has been set away in our computer space. So now to make sure that it actually works, we're going to do a little debugging and we are going to print the integer to the screen. And we're going to do that by using the format specifier D, uh, which basically is the two characters you need to print out an uh, integer to the screen. And we're going to say, uh, actually, let's give it a new line so we don't have any uh, clutter, just to make it neat. And we'll give it a comma, and we'll specify what we're going to display. And that is our variable num1. End it with a parenthesis and a semicolon and we're good to go. Make sure to save it by using command s or file save and go to your terminal and you want to always change to your desktop because that's where we stored our program so we're going to do that by using the cd command and switch to desktop clear it so we're uh, good with some nice space and we're going to compile our program Once we compiled our program, you can see it compiled with no errors. We're going to use the a dot out to execute it. And as you can see, 5 has been stored into the variable num1 because we're not actually telling it to print out the number 1, uh, the number 5, sorry, we're printing out the variable which holds the number 5. Now, a quick thing to note is that there's actually a difference between a number being stored in to a variable and the difference of where that variable is actually located in memory. And what I mean by that is if we put an ampersand right in front of our variable that we're going to print to the screen and we save that file and we're going to run it, compile first, as you can see this negative number that appears is actually the space in memory that we've located on our computer for the number 5. So, this is basically the super novice tutorial for uh, defining variables. It's obviously going to get more advanced in the next tutorial. But a little challenge for you um, that I will show you the answer to at the beginning of next tutorial. And that is uh, to try to create a program that declares two local variables and assigns two int values to those variables, adds them, and prints the result. A little hint for you, you're going to need three variables for this program to work. Other than that, I'll see you next tutorial and thank you for watching.